The creators of SafeMoon have been indicted. One of them has been arrested, and it's a lot worse than we thought. Now, I have the indictment right here in front of me. And let me say, I have chills looking at this. We've been calling out SafeMoon for over two years. This is my eighth video on them. So I can't express how vindicating it is to see this. And before we go further, I just have to thank you guys. Without your support, helping shine a light on this, I truly don't think this would have happened and I think I would have been sued into oblivion by now. So thank you. I don't wanna to get too sappy here. Let's just jump into this indictment. Our top suspects on the page, United States of America against Braden, John Caroni, Kyle Nagy, Thomas Smith. You guys know, those are our top three suspects as well. We have over two hours of video dedicated to them, and now they're going down. Now, also attached to the court docket is a notice of Thomas Smith's arrest already. But we also have an announcement that John Caroni has also been arrested in Utah while Kyle Nagy is still on the run, but I'm sure he'll be found eventually. But let's see the charges. It looks like their conspiracy to commit securities fraud, nice. Conspiracy to commit wire fraud, very good. And conspiracy to commit money laundering, very spicy. So these are not huge surprises from us. Uh, you know, as I reflect on this though, I, I remember that they actually sent me something threatening me. They sent me this cease and desist. They were gonna sue me. They were gonna, they told me I was gonna go to jail. Uh, that violation of the statute of causing them emotional distress is punishable by up to five years in prison. I still have that set aside. Probably I'm going to frame it. But I'm just struck by the irony that now uh, it looks like they're the ones who are going to go to jail. Now, I'm going to try to keep this from being too much of a, of a victory lap here. We're going to talk about the main meat of this indictment. Um, so obviously, a lot of this won't be a huge surprise. You know, obviously, SafeMoon advertised itself as a safe investment vehicle because of their liquidity pool, which was supposed to be locked forever. Um, it wasn't. As we've covered in detail, it was used as a piggy bank by Kyle Nagy, Thomas Smith, and John Caroni for whatever they wanted. According to this, they talked about buying luxury vehicles. You know, obviously, they did some of that. But this indictment also shows the conspiracy side of things goes further than we knew. Back in March 16th, 2021, Nagy asked John Caroni, quote, should we be honest with the team about pulling out of the liquidity pool for the project now? Now, Caroni responds to this. Let's draft up a statement. Thomas, you and I need to talk about how to message that properly. So they're saying right there, we haven't been honest. Maybe we should be honest. We got to talk about how to break it to people that we can dip our hands in the cookie jar here. But instead of actually telling people this, Caroni then said they should, quote, update the Safe Moon white paper and call it a day. In other words, just silently update it, which they did. And then the next day, Caroni messaged Thomas Smith, make sure you specify we won't touch the liquidity pool, which of course, as we know, was a lie. Now, despite internally saying they should be honest, they weren't. Instead, they tried to slowly change their wording so that no one would notice what they were doing, which is robbing everyone. Um, now, we documented these slowly changing public statements a year ago, but without all the back-end communications, now that we have that, it looks a lot more sinister. Here's that clip. The money's locked up. It's right there in the readme. It's automatically locked up. Or wait, was it auto-locking? Because I kind of read that too. Oh, that's probably the same thing. Unless it wasn't locked at all. Uh-oh, this is confusing. SafeMoon appears to be contradicting itself. Maybe we should go to the CEO of SafeMoon so he can explain it once and for all. So the LP lock is automated, not automatic. Automated and automatic are not the same thing. Hmm, that didn't help. Well, maybe maybe we go to the source code that they copied from Btoken and figure out what's really going on here. Surely Btoken wasn't a rug pull. So we have this B token code and B was kind of a smaller rug pull. Oh, well, that's that's even worse. How are we getting out of this one, fellas? Our big difference, you're going to find that we're never going to rug. OK, so now the picture is complete. We knew that they were lying to customers and privately changing, you know, the messaging. But now knowing they conspired to do it, to hide it from the public, I think that's what's so interesting there. Hence the conspiracy charges, because 
They talked about it privately and organized this whole thing. Now, I actually have some other news for you guys. The FBI aren't the only people going after them today. We also have the SEC drafting a complaint today against, you guessed it, uh, Safe Moon US LLC, Kyle Nagy, Braden, John Caroni, and Thomas Smith. So they're also going after them for fraud. You guessed it. So there's a lot here in this one as well. A lot of interesting tidbits. We have John Caroni engaging in 227,000 wash trades, apparently, which is where you buy and sell something at the same time for the same price. Basically, it's like creating false volume on a token um, and making it seem like it's more popular than it is. In addition to that, they also broke down how much money was stolen by our three alleged criminals. So according to this table, Caroni stole $54 million from their locked liquidity pool in BNB. Thomas Smith took $77 million. They took even more in the form of safe moon tokens. So for that and millions of other reasons, our boys here, I'm happy to finally say after two years are joining the wall of shame where our criminals go when they've been finally indicted. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Smith, Kyle Nagy, John Caroni, we got him.